There is a famous saying in the mountaineering world that if there is a living hell anywhere, it is none other than the death zone of Mount Everest. The death zone starts at heights above 8,000 meters, where the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere falls by 40%. It makes it difficult for the human body to get the oxygen it needs. It kills you slowly, hence the name death zone. Some climbers have even compared the experience to running on a treadmill and breathing through a straw. But despite this, what if I tell you that there is one man who underestimated Mount Everest? And this man himself confessed it and only realized his mistake when he went blind while summiting the deadliest mountain, Mount Everest. Who was this man? And why and how did he go blind on his expedition? Richard Walker, born in 1980, is the son of Malcolm Walker, who founded Iceland in 1970. He graduated in geography from Durham University in 2001 and qualified as a chartered surveyor. He is married with two children, and since 2002, he has overlooked his father's business. On May 17, 2023, this businessman made headlines with his successful expedition to the top of the world, Mount Everest. Richard was accompanied by veteran mountaineer Kenton Cool, who had previously scaled the mountain in Nepal a total of 17 times. Richard himself had past experience climbing the North Coal of Everest. Richard planned this expedition to raise one million pounds in charity money for patients with dementia. He was super excited for his venture and told in one of his interviews, having climbed to the North Coal of Everest, 7,020 m 12 years ago, I know that this certainly won't be easy, but I will be in the inspiring and hugely experienced company of Kenton Cool, who has already reached the top an incredible 16 times. I am determined to do everything I can to make the world's first rare dementia support center a reality. And of course, the pair did their months of preparation, but they didn't want to do the expedition the ordinary, traditional way. The typical Everest expedition spends three months acclimatizing and preparing for the final summit push. Richard revealed his quest on his website back in March. We aim to complete the climb in just three weeks by compressing the traditional pattern of repeated ascents and descents for the purpose of acclimatization, as described by Sir David Hempelman Adams in No Such Thing as Failure. In setting this hugely ambitious goal, we are relying on Kenton Cool's unparalleled experience as a 16 times Everest summiteer and a hugely experienced guide. So the pair started their journey from Kathmandu on April 19th, 2023. By May 10th, they had reached base camp and it was the morning of May 12th when both started their bid towards the summit with the sun shining over their heads. They both reached South Cole on May 16th and on May 17th at 0130 UK time, Kenton, Richard and Dorji Gielsen summited Mount Everest. Upon reaching the world's tallest mountain, Richard Walker said the water in his drinking bottle was frozen solid at temperatures of almost minus 50 degrees C during the coldest May in living memory. Still, everything until now seemed under their control, but things changed drastically during their descent. Richard said, I still had another eight hours of descent ahead of me with no water, and I just lay there next to a dead body, utterly terrified. The wheels came off emotionally. I was scared and losing a lot of energy. As they started descending, Richard started struggling. He was fully exhausted and had lost almost 60% of his vision. He was not able to see anything. As the pair struggled to make their way down the mountain, they spent a second night at Camp 4, situated in Everest's death zone above 8,000 M. We will have to understand that people can respond to high altitude in different ways. For some climbers, symptoms may include headaches, vomiting, tiredness, confusion, trouble sleeping, frostbite, and dizziness. But these symptoms of acute mountain sickness can progress to high altitude pulmonary edema, HAPE, with associated shortness of breath and confusion. And that's when things become fatal. Richard was showing the classic sign of retinal hemorrhage, which was caused by high-altitude cerebral edema. 
In simple language, his cerebral blood vessels were dilated in response to oxygen deficiency to the level causing high pressure within his eyes. Richard revealed how he almost went blind after climbing the summit of Mount Everest and suffered a panic attack while sitting next to a corpse that was perfectly preserved from a climb in 2021. Despite running out of oxygen, Walker's vision gradually returned and they successfully made it back to Kathmandu. I just wanted to do a piece of camera whilst we were still coming off the mountain. Um, as you can tell, Everest has probably beaten me up and it is so much harder than I think normal people presume. I got it served to me on a plate. And now, uh, as you can tell, I'm a little bit beaten up, a little bit emotional. Physically, we're, we're fine, if exhausted. I had something strange with my eyes uh, from the south summit down. Just three weeks later, Reichard was at Iceland headquarters in Deeside along with his dad, being cheered on by colleagues. But he said his return to work was too soon, and even as an experienced climber, he underestimated the physical and mental strain of the journey. The boss of Iceland has shared footage from his harrowing climb of Everest, during which he almost went blind, and revealed he decided to scale the world's highest peak in honor of his mother. The businessman documented the tough conditions he faced on camera, holding back tears as he clearly suffered after losing around 60% of his vision during the descent. As you can tell, Everest has obviously beaten me up, and it is so much harder than I think normal people presume. I got it served to me on a plate, he said in the emotional video. Mr. Walker also revealed that his intrepid charity fundraiser for dementia research was in memory of his mother, Lady Walker, who passed away from Alzheimer's in 2021. The summit of Mount Everest has the magnetic ability to draw people towards it, but often the extent of the difficulty and sheer weight of the situation are lost on people. Well. Take an idea yourself. Everest Base Camp is at a height of 17,600 feet, which is higher than nearly every mountain in Europe. But still, it attracts hundreds of climbers, leading to deadly experiences and successful stories like Richard's. As said by Sir Edmund Hillary, it's not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves.